Monopoly. The world's most famous board game is now Monopoly, the TV game. Here come the players. My name is Alec Monopoly. You're here in my studio in West London. I'm out here doing an art show at Graphic London Gallery. What's the story with your name? Tell me a little about how this uh, Monopoly thing came about. Well, I started, um, I started doing street art a while ago. I was doing a lot of graffiti and I wrote under the name A Squared. And then uh, when the economy tanked in about 2008, I did a couple uh, drawings and street pieces of Bernie Madoff, kind of like a pop art, cartoonist version of him. And then as I was doing him, I kind of was playing Monopoly and I saw some like commercial on the TV of Monopoly and it kind of just clicked that like the Monopoly guy is Bernie Madoff and I kind of use him as a meta narrative and uh, a symbol, symbol for like what's going on in the economy and stuff like that. So around 2008 I started doing the Monopoly guy just in the streets and painting him and doing paste ups. And I didn't really even think that, like, it wasn't my goal to go out and everyone think of me as the Monopoly guy. I was just kind of throwing them out there to make people think about what's going on in the world. Tell me a little bit about where you grew up and how long you've been actually doing this. Uh, I grew up in New York and, uh, you know, growing up in New York and skateboarding and that whole culture of graffiti goes hand in hand with it. And uh, my mom's actually a painter. She's an amazing painter. She's more of like a classical oil painter, but she, uh, she so she taught me how to draw when I was really young, and it, it, it and uh, doing graffiti and skateboarding, it didn't really click at first, you know, to put art into the graffiti, but uh, once I started doing the Monopoly guy, it just opened my eyes to the fact that you don't have to be doing something negative like vandalizing stuff and just writing your name, which I think is narcissistic, just writing your name on something. I'm trying to spread a message and, you know, expose people to art that normally wouldn't be exposed to it because, you know, most people think, you know, museums are boring and galleries are pretentious. So when you're putting art in the streets, it's really just like bringing art into people's lives that normally wouldn't be looking at art. What is the story with all the arrests? Everybody's talking about how you've been arrested a few times and the controversy surrounding some of your artwork and the police. Well, I mean, it's when you start to do graffiti, you really accept that it's totally illegal and at some point you're going to be arrested and get in trouble. But, I mean, it's not the goal. The goal is to try to get away with it. But in cities like, in, like New York, they have like these detectives that basically all they do is chase after graffiti artists and pursue us and they're called the Vandal Squad and they work out of they actually work out of a subway in Staten Island and these guys it's kind of it's it's fucked up because these guys are graffiti writers some of them and some of them still do graffiti and or they used to so they, they really know what's going on in the streets so with my work you know the Monopoly guy it like stands out out of anything because you know it's immediately recognizable so Whenever I was doing work in New York, they would just, they would come after me basically and they finally, they found out where my studio was in New York, so one day I was like walking in there and I saw, there was like two cops outside and I was really lucky because my studio was uh, downstairs from a hotel so I could just like, you know, sneak through the hotel, but yeah, so they didn't get me during my New York show, but uh, they finally got me, you know, if, if the police want to get you, they're going to get you. Are you excited about your show coming up yeah, in London? I'm super stoked about my show coming up here in uh, coming up here in London. It's my first time actually showing outside of the states, so it's it's going to be really good. I've been working a lot in the States and I think it's, my work is, uh, you know, people all over the world will be able to relate to my work and enjoy my work. So I think it's, it's only right that I'm doing a show here and hopefully my next stop is Berlin. I want to do a show there as well. So I'm working on that. But uh, it's good to get out of the States and expose my work to a whole new 
group of people. Any particular inspiration as far as other street artists uh, are concerned? Any sort of artists that you would say are like your sort of role models? Yeah, I mean, um, not, yeah, I'd say uh, I love Keith Haring's work and Basquiat. They were like, they're some of my main inspirations because you know Keith Haring was one of the first to do such a simple image that looked like you know just like a cartoon character, and that's what kind of allowed me to be able to feel confident doing the Monopoly guy because it's I mean it's, it's a simple image, but at the same time there's there's a lot behind it. So where do you want to go from here? What do you see yourself doing in ten years' time? Well, I want to. I mean. I think the whole idea of the Monopoly and the street art thing was just kind of it was kind of a joke for me. It was just I was just doing it for fun, you know? I never really thought it was going to... I mean, I always knew growing up and like my whole life that I just wanted to be an artist and paint every day because I just love to paint. So that's basically what I want to be doing is just keep painting. And uh, I mean, I have a couple other styles, a couple other names that I operate under. I'm not really going to say, but um, they're more refined oil paintings. And uh, I just want to develop those styles and then hopefully one day bring them all together into one, you know? But right now I'm just having fun with the Monopoly guys. Good week, we'll see you next Saturday night. Come on, Monopoly.